Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this warm brown matte smoky eye look. This is a look that I filmed a long time ago, but you guys didn't know that I actually used my eyeshadow palette. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you which shades I used from my Sigma X and Nuke palettes. So the first thing I did was apply a eyeshadow um, guard. Then I realized I haven't primed my eyes yet. So I did that first. And then I reapplied the eyeshadow guard. Um, but I'm gonna start with the color Cottage, which is a matte white color, and I'm just gonna apply it underneath the highest point of my brow. First, I applied it with a bigger brush, and I noticed it didn't give a lot of color payoff, so I decided to go in with a tinier brush and apply a little bit more and a bit more precise. Um, but you, you don't have to apply too much of it, but just enough so it gives a nice bright highlight underneath the brow you can also go in with like a shimmery color but i prefer a matte under eye also i'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background because my neighbors are busy with the garden and i just really have to edit this right now to get the video up today so i'm sorry if you hear some noises but now I'm going to go in with this color and I'm just going to blend this all the way in my crease. This is kind of going to be like the transition. So I just want to blend this as much as possible in my crease and also a bit upwards. So it blends into that white shade that I blended in my crease already. So this color is called Nacho Cheese and it just really reminds me of those like Doritos Nacho Cheese, if you know what I mean. These are like my favorite. I love them with cheese in the oven. So delicious with a little bit of guacamole. I could literally eat that every day. Let me know if this is a snack that you like as well. I especially love like the Doritos Nacho Cheese version. I know they also have like um, different versions, but the Nacho Cheese one is like my favorite. Um, so I had to have like this shade name called nacho cheese <laughs> i know it's a little bit crazy i have some weird names in my palette but it's just me you know i wanted to make it as personal as possible so if you struggle with getting the blend to look nice in the inner corner you can also use like a tinier blending brush just use whatever works best for you and i'm just continuing to blend until i'm happy with how everything is looking you can go back a few times to build it up and apply more of the eyeshadow it just depends on how dark or intense you want it to be then now i'm going to go in with the next color which is also like it also has that warm kind of like mustardy orangey undertone um, but it's a bit darker so first i blended it in the outer v and then with whatever was left on my brush i'm also gonna blend it more into my crease area I always say this in my videos, but I like to go in with a little bit and then I just slowly build it up by going back in with more and more. I feel like this makes the transition or the blending process overall just look just really nice and soft and you will not really get harsh lines if that makes sense. So my trick is always to use a little bit and then just slowly build it up. It might take a little bit more time, but if you struggle with blending it out, if you apply too much, it's also going to take a lot of time. So I think overall, I think this is the easiest way. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with this color and I'm just going to blend it all over my eyelids and then also blend it into my crease to kind of make everything melt together. So this is going to be like the main color that I want on the eyelid and this is gonna be like the um, eyelid color if that makes sense <laughs> um, and so I actually want to apply quite a lot but again going in with a little bit first and then just slowly building it up now besides this just because I'm blending I'm just gonna tell you guys something so I have been thinking about switching my content up um, I made like a little plan of what I want to do with my channel. Don't worry, I will be still doing makeup tutorials as you guys are used from me. But I also want to do some different things. So I'm currently working on that, making a plan to make it happen. Um, it will probably be a little bit more lifestyle, maybe some vlogs, maybe some try-ons with clothing. I just want to kind of switch things up to make it... You know a little bit more different but still i will be continuing to do these eye looks as well so don't worry um you will just get like a extra content which is different and more personal so now i'm gonna go in with um, the color levine which is a matte black shade taking a tiny blending brush and blending this along the lash line um, since i use the eyeshadow guard it's really easy because i can just kind of like blend it along the eyeshadow guard and when i remove the eyeshadow guard it will just leave me with this super sharp edge which is just 
super handy. If you don't have these like eyeshadow guards that I used, you can also use some regular sticky tape um, that will do the job as well. So again, I feel like I'm just constantly repeating myself, but you want to go in with a little bit first and then just gradually build it up and go in with more and more eyeshadow just to make it more intense. And now I switch to a tinier brush, applying more and just as close as possible against the lash line. So you will get more of like an intenser black um, blend along the lash line and the more it goes upwards, it look a looks a little bit more faded. Then I'm gonna go in with that same color that I used all over the eyelid and now blend it underneath the lower lash line using a Sigma flat definer brush and just blending this all the way underneath the lower lash line. I am going in with a few different shades because I noticed like since I used that black it's now not really fading very well as you can see into that black eyeshadow so when I was applying this I noticed okay wait let me just go in with black eyeshadow instead because it's just gonna make everything melt better together so you can see now that I'm using the black and blending it into that kind of like smudgy wink liner it just fades better into each other of course it's not looking perfect yet but you can apply more and more and the better it's gonna look and of course we're also gonna blend it out so right now it might look a little bit harsh because i'm literally using like a quite harsh brush which just applies the eyeshadow i mean i am smudging my brush back and forth but you definitely want to go in with like a tiny blending brush and just smudge everything out even more so it just looks more soft so that's what i'm definitely gonna do i applied first more of the black eyeshadow then i used the black pencil in my wild line which i normally do before applying eyeshadows underneath my lower lash line so i was kind of going like back and forth in a different order than I normally do. I think that's kind of why I, it was kind of like going weird. <laughs> but then I wanted to focus on blending everything out and I went in with this soft color that I used to smudge the lower, no not the lower lash line, to smudge, um, to apply as my second shade. You know, first I went in with the color Nacho Cheese and then I went in with this color to uh, make it a bit darker so I wanted to use that same color and blend this all over the lower lash line and just smudge it out I applied quite a lot just gradually building it up and then after this I'm also going to go in with more of the color nacho cheese to warm it up even more um, so it looks as much as possible kind of like the same as the shades that I used on the eyelid and what I think would also be really beautiful because I actually did something similar in my previous video. I used totally different colors. Well, a few are the same, but I used like more shimmers. But to do this, I look with like blue or purple underneath the lower lash line. That's going to be so pretty as well, especially for like summertime or if you have like brown eyes, like it's going to look beautiful no matter what. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be really pretty with like colorful lower lash line as well. So now it's time to curl the lashes and apply some mascara. I used the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit, which is one of my favorites. I actually have a lot of favorite mascaras at the moment that I never really know which one to pick anymore. But I'm just applying some mascara, not focused too much on making it look super long because I am going to go in with some false lashes to finish off this look. I believe these are the fantasy lashes from Sigma Beauty, but I'm not quite sure. I will look it up for you guys. Um, but these are super pretty. Um, they're not too dramatic, not too neutral. They're just the perfect amount of glam. I just love them. And I always apply them in the center of the eyelid and then I press the inner parts of the lash band against the lash lid. And I just hold it for a few seconds um, just to make sure that it sticks to the eyelid. And I always let my glue like dry for, I think, around one or two minutes. So yeah, this is the finished result. I really hope you all like it. Let me know if you're going to try it out. Let me know what kind of makeup looks you want to see. And yeah, I just hope you all enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you look close, you can see this eye look on my palette. It looks a bit darker in this shot, but it's actually one of the looks that I put on my packaging of my palette. So yeah, if you don't have my palette yet and you want to get it, I will link it down in the description bar. And yes, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.